What's up, everybody? Thanks again for tuning in. We greatly appreciate it. This your boy, Superb Kicks. Stubborn Styles. Together, we're Feats in the Streets. We wear our pairs. I want to thank y'all once again for tuning in to another episode of Feats in the Streets. And as we always do, to remind you, follow us on Instagram. That is the only means of contacting us. So any questions, comments, concerns you may have, send them to our inbox. We respond in a timely manner. Also remind you, follow us on Twitter, same handle, Feats in the Streets. Facebook page as well, Feast in the Streets. And most importantly, FeastinTheStreets.com for all your official FNTS merchandise. Most definitely, and don't forget to hit the like button for this video. Stay active in the comment section. Let us know what you like, dislike about this video. If you haven't, please hit that subscribe button. And most importantly, don't forget to hit the bell so you're notified every time we drop a new video. Absolutely. And as you just mentioned, make sure you subscribe. As you know, we just hit 500 subscribers. And you know, we've been talking about doing this free shoe giveaway, which we are still doing. Um, the, the rules and regulations have not been fully mapped out yet, but as we mentioned, it will be your size. And we, you know, to the details we mentioned, you know, coming up this Sunday on our live. So just be sure you tune in for that. Most definitely, like you mentioned, just to piggyback a little bit more on that, we're gonna give away a free pair of shoes for us reaching 500 subscribers. We haven't picked the exact Jordan silhouette that we're gonna give away, but once again, as he mentioned, once we do determine that, and you, if the if you are the person that wins, if you win, it'll be your size, not a particular size. Like it won't be a size 11, and you wearing a nine, and you got to deal with the 11. It'll be your particular size. So once again, tune in this Sunday on our live, and we'll give y'all all the information that y'all need to qualify for the free shoe giveaway most certainly and now time to get into this review as you see what's on the table today the tie-dye ones which is a great release uh you know um, as you know i'm a ones guy so when i seen these picture surface of these you know i was really digging them um and now to have it in hand uh definitely did not disappoint um you know a lot of key features on it most most first and foremost uh definitely the material i mean I don't know what what this exactly is. It's kind of like a split new buck material or a rough suede or whatever. But I'm really digging it, um, especially the colorway. It, it all ties together nice. Um, and the definitely the, the black collar here. I'm glad they didn't paint that white. I think it just been would have been too much. Uh, you know, white on the shoe. It all ties together. Like I said, it comes from the toe box up the tongue to the sock liner to the collar and of course the swoosh in the bottom as well but i mean the bright the, the white is bright enough in its own it stands out in the right spots obviously you see the white nike air tag on the tongue um so for me this is really a dope shoe the execution is great and being that it has the the rough texture that the material is um i'm personally th thinking about you know distressing them a little bit maybe like the natural spots right here along the toe box along the heel you know, in, on the inner upper here, right here, you know, just certain spots kind of give that distressed look to it, kind of give it a little age, um, but nothing too major. But I'm like I say, I'm definitely digging the material, digging the, the tie-dye pattern. Um, as far as the laces go, obviously you know that black laces, black tone for me on most occasions, 99% of the time. The only lace swap I might be, you know, interested in doing would maybe be if I could find the exact little kind of tealish uh, aqua blue color that's in it. That'd be the only way I think that would really make it pop a little more. But other than that, I'm gonna stick with the black laces. And overall, this shoe here is gonna get a nine for me. I, I, like I say, I really, I'm really digging it. From pictures to in hand, no disappointment. So it's gonna get a nine. All right, now I'm gonna start off off the bat, like I always mention with the leather um, on ones. This one right here, kind of disappointing. Um, it's not the softest and nicest leather on the toe box right here as normal um, as we do our reviews with Jordan 1s. It's not the best material on this. But speaking on material, um, like you mentioned also, it's, it's kind of like the um, winterized 4s uh, yes. kind of material. It's a nice material, nice color uh, scheme, everything like it. Like I say, I'm not a one guy, but this is a pretty dope shoe. I wouldn't rock it, you know, even if I did rock 1s, but this is a pretty dope shoe. You know, concept, perfect time, summer, everything like that and i actually like the inside of the shoe more with the circles i don't know if y'all can see yeah. that but with that tie dye on the inside right there if that would have been carried over to the outside also and towards the back that would have been a dope look but that's a, a pretty dope concept with the shoe and one key thing that i like about this shoe is the sock liner it's like a satin material or like a leatherish you know it's it's 
Yeah, it's like a leather material, it's satin. Weird, yeah. yeah, it's kind of it's it feels uh, leather, but then when you look at it and, and it's it's crazy, but it's a, a <laughs> nice touch right here with yeah. this. I like this better than having this be a regular sock liner and you getting mothballs and sock. You know what I mean? And, and sock liner, yeah, yeah, sock, <laughs> sock lint everywhere. So that's a pretty dope touch, especially for the ones. You know what I mean? Pretty much, you know, it's just a summer shoe. You're gonna probably have on some shorts with this or something like that. So that's a pretty dope concept that I like. But overall, you know, I'm kind of disappointed with the um, leather on this shoe. Um, the side um, is pretty. Uh, Decent quality leather as always, but the toe box could have been a better leather on this, even if it was the leather that was up on top on the um, heel part right here. So overall, it's a pretty dope shoe, like I mentioned. You know, I ain't gonna elaborate too much on the shoe, but me personally, I'm gonna give this shoe an eight. You know, it's a pretty dope shoe, so I can't give it nothing less than an eight. It would have been a cop for me, but I wouldn't have rocked it. You know what I mean? So, hey, eight for me. Nine, nine for me, most definitely. You know, I can't like I say you know my 90 day grace period, so I ain't gonna be rocking these for at least 90 days. But when they do come out, I'm gonna have something funky ready for them. Yeah, and also the wings logo. If that could have been white right here, like you mentioned, if they, you know what I mean, would have did you know a few more things, like you said, would have been this or that, like we always pinpoint. Like if that would have been white right there, then it would have been dope. You know what I mean? Like overall shoe, like that would have really standed out with the concept. You know what I mean? And with the black being down the middle predominantly, yeah. you know what I mean? You don't really got nothing but the swoosh on the side. So if that would have been white, that would have been an extra detail that would have put it over the top for me also. So at the end of the day, I gave the shoe an eight. That's what's up. Well. As you all know, we come to the end of each video and we like to show what's on foot today. So uh, being that we had a little just the, the rough pattern or the rough texture on the material, those, and I was talking about the stress in the pair, I figured I'd dig in the vault, get out my Wild West 95s. Like if you've seen me wear these before, like I say, I love this shoe. Um, I actually think about doubling up, putting the pair up for future reference, you know, just to have. Uh, and really and truly, I'm thinking about getting the 97s. Um, uh, just to have those as well. I really like that concept, but this, the 95 is the one for me. Most definitely. And I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the Bordeaux Sevens. You know, I had to pull these out. Super classic. That burgundy maroon tongue, and on the back, hints on the sock liner. That's why I'm rocking that burgundy merchandise today. So, Bordeaux Sevens for me. Yeah, and you know, I had to bring out the red, white, blue, being as it's July 4th weekend, you know, no, Celebration time, you know, all that good stuff. Most definitely, and make sure y'all be safe out here. And uh, at, if y'all could, you know, let us know in the comment section. Like we always say, let us know what y'all like, dislike about this shoe. If you guys do have them, let us know what y'all opinion is on them. If you haven't uh, purchased them yet, if our video helps you out any bit, you know, let us know in the comment section. We'll greatly appreciate it. And don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. And most importantly, don't forget to hit the bell so you're notified every time we drop a new video. Absolutely. Hey, and we couldn't do this without y'all. Without y'all, you know us. Thanks a lot for tuning in. We greatly appreciate it. This is your boy, Superb Kicks. Diverse style. Together we're feats in the streets. We wear our pairs. Until next time.